This experiment shows how to measure the electrical resistance of several electrical devices and other objects. To do this experiment you will need the following items and parts. You will need a multimeter, either digital or analog. You will need some assorted resistors, such as those found in the electronic learning lab kit. You will need a rectifying diode, similar to a 1N4001 or other diode. You will need a cadmium sulfide photocell. You will need a proto board, such as the one in the electronic learning lab kit, or other proto board. You will need some t jumper wires, a pencil, and a paper. You need a glass of water and some table salt. You need not have all those items in order to effectively learn about resistance. Conversely, you need not limit your experiments to these items either. However, be sure to never measure the resistance of any electrically live object or circuit. In other words, do not attempt to measure the resistance of a battery or any other source of substantial voltage using a multimeter set to the resistance or ohms function. Failing to heed this warning will likely result in meter damage or even personal injury. In the first part of this lab, we measured the electrical quantity current. The symbol for current is I, which stands for intensity. Current is measured in the unit ampere, or A. In the second part of this lab, we measured voltage. The symbol for voltage is V, which stands for, uh, well, voltage. Although, just to confuse the uninitiated, sometimes E is used to represent voltage, which stands for electromotive force. Voltage is measured in the unit volts, V. Resistance is the measure of electrical friction as electrons move through a conductor. It is measured in the unit of the ohm. That is a symbol is symbolized by the Greek letter omega. The range setting on a meter sets the highest value that can be measured. It can be set too low for measurement. For example, if you were to measure a 1000 ohm resistor and the meter was set to the 200 ohms range, the meter would not be able to display the reading. Conversely, if the meter is set to a range that is too high, the reading will be imprecise. Some meters are smart enough to set their own range. These are called auto-ranging meters. But most multimeters have a selector switch to select one of several ranges for resistance, or ohms. Typically 200 ohms, 2000 or 2K, 20,000 or 20K, 200,000 or 200K, or 2 million or 2 mega ohms. To start, your multimeter should be set to the highest range available or at least above 100K. The resistance function is usually donated by the unit symbol for the resistance, the Greek letter omega, or sometimes by the word ohms. Touch or connect the two test probes of your meter together. When you do, the meter should register zero ohms of resistance or close to it. If you're using an analog meter, you will notice the meter deflect full scale when the probes are touched together and return to its resting position when the probes are pulled apart. The resistance scale on an analog multimeter is reverse printed from the other scales. Zero resistance in, is indicated at the far right hand side of the scale and infinite resistance is indicated at the left hand side of the scale. There should also be a small adjustment knob or wheel on the analog multimeter to calibrate it for zero ohms of resistance. Touch the test probes together and move this adjustment until the needle exactly points to zero at the right hand end of the scale. Although your multimeter is capable of providing quantitative values of measured resistance, it is also useful for qualitative measurements of quanti continuity, whether or not there is a continuous electrical connection from one point to another. You can, for example, test the continuity of a piece of wire by connecting the probes to opposite ends of the wire and checking to see if the display indicates close to zero ohms. Here I'm going to check the continuity of the multi-conductor cable. Check. I'll check. I have the one medium side of the multimeter connected. The black green lead to the green wire. Now I'm going to touch the red wire to the other side of the green wire. And 
and it beeps, and the meter, when I, when I touch it, it says nearly zero, and it beeps. Digital multimeters that are set to the resistance mode indicate non-continuity by displaying some numerical non-numerical indication on the display. Some models say OL for open loop. While others display a line. Now let's try something with your multimeter. Use your meter to determine the continuity between the holes on our poto board. Use small pieces of 22 or 24 gauge solid copper wire inserted into the holes of the breadboard to connect the meter to the hidden metal spring strips inside so that you can test for continuity. Which direction are the middle metal strips oriented that connect the holes on the board? Try holes that are next to each other, both vertically and horizontally. In the next part of this presentation, we will try some more resistance measurements with our multimeter.